Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone who will be catching this um, live of mine today. I was not able to do a go live yesterday. I was supposed to start this 242 challenge on my page yesterday, but my husband and I were just so busy. Um, he had to work on, the, on Saturday, so our schedules... Our schedule was... Um, moved a bit so sunday was such a crunch crunch day for us so i will try to do this two two minute go live as uh an introduction it's actually um a challenge for us to do in a private facebook group of ours but since i've been doing go lives already since um i started so I might as well do it on my page, right? So um, new followers, new followers, by the way, welcome, welcome. Thank you. I'm Charito Gabuya. I'm the face of um, Charito Gabuya Facebook page. So uh, yeah, um, just a little bit of background about me. Um, I'm a Filipina. I'm in my mid-40s. Yeah, just stepping into um, late 40s. But um, yeah, I'm a Cebuana and I'm also a Negrense. I'm from Tanhai, Negros Oriental. My father's um, side comes from there. My mom's side comes from Cebu, Bohol. So uh, pure Bisdak um, from Central Visayas. I usually, I used to say that I was an NPA, no permanent address, because um, when it was uh, school time, I was in Cebu and um, I go home to Tanhai for um, summer vacation and Christmas and which I always look forward to and as I remember it before when I in my elementary years um, because like my my father uh, used to work for a sugar central in in negro so my mom stayed with him there like most of the time and they just visited me um every weekend or us like my siblings and i when i started college uh no when i started school my siblings were already in college and they were all in cebu so they i had to take my studies there as well so at that time, when I was still very young, my parents used to go to Cebu every weekend, which was, I would imagine, a very tiring um, routine for them. And yeah, every time, I just remembered like every, like the first week of school or the last week of vacation that I was in Negros, I would, I would really get sick. Maybe it was um, separation anxiety. Oh, hello, I'm <laughs> doing my first day of, um, yeah, getting to know me, uh, go live challenge. So just going back, um, if I don't get sick on that week where I was to go to uh, leave for Cebu, the first week of classes, I would get sick. And um, maybe, yeah, it was just separation anxiety for me. So now that I'm a mom like i oh maybe that there's a connection to that because i never want my kids to be separated from me ah yeah um when i came here to canada i came before my my son and my husband um i left them in the philippines for a whole like more than a month and that was the longest stretch of um weeks or month for me being separated from them and um yeah so my kids like grew up with me always on the side on their side however being a working parent um there are there are school activities where I can't I can't really be there for them and they always ask 
me or their dad um, if they if we can attend unfortunately because both of us are working so um, there are um, activities for them that we are unable to to be there for them and but as much as possible we would that is why like my it is a personal decision for my husband and I when we had our um, daughter to just like I it was our belief before that if we live simply we can get by right um yeah because here in like we're already here in canada right like life is much easier supposedly um but uh in 2014 just as we um got our house and then after that there was um uh, we experienced recession and we we knew of people like getting laid off from work and it was such a like it was such a stressful time not only for us but i bet for those couples for those families whose like breadwinners lost their jobs and so it's very common here like for um people to work two or three jobs because we can't just afford to have one right so yeah as maya said proud of our resilience far true true it it's um it's one thing that i i learned about myself because i i never knew i could be this resilient oh my gosh it's 103 i have to go back to work <laughs> i said i'm going to go live two minutes but yeah um it's it's hard like we we would think sometimes that oh okay we're our life is made we're good but then things happen and we experience um we just experience some questions questionable um situations where we think oh, okay this is not we shouldn't be just depending on on our jobs so that's why most most families their parents their kids sometimes have two or three jobs because we we realize by experience right and then um yeah and then the pandemic that's why i i i am grateful that this digital business found its way to me it's not that I found it, it found its way to me because I didn't even um, click on a, on a website or on an ad. I, it was introduced to me by, by my mentor. And so, yeah, that's why I got into this business. And um, yeah, being the, being the introvert, the shy person that I am, that's why I chose the digital business because it doesn't involve personal selling and it's attraction marketing, right? It's at um, lifestyle marketing. So we attract the people that are um, the same as us, the, the same um, interests as us and... Now I'm working. <laughs> so um yeah, I'll just cut this live short. Um yeah, I will be sharing a lot about myself in the future in future go lives. Um I've been meaning to share the reason why I came to Canada. I wasn't really um planning on um working abroad or anything like that, but um just an experience of mine pushed me to to apply abroad so um that's for another go live and it will take me another 5 10 15 minutes so um yeah that's another story to tell in the future and um yeah i would just like to thank maya she's also a digital business owner like me and we experienced a lot of um different different challenges in our lives and we never knew that we would we would meet each other here right and share our stories and um now we're supporting each other here in the digital business and it's just um heartwarming that even if we're far apart from each other 
we've really um, connected and maybe um, found ourselves uh, a family here in the digital business. So yeah, thank you, Maya. And um, yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm looking forward to my go live again tomorrow. And yeah, please um, do catch it. And if you are um, catching this replay later on, um, yeah, please uh, do share where you're watching from and your insights or maybe you're, you have your own background story, right? So um, please feel free to share it with us and um, yeah, I'll get back to you and just uh, engage with you as well. So bye for now. Thank you. Thank you, Demaya. Regards. <laughs>